Here is another way to write a linear equation, but in a different format. The format is called point-slope form. Just like the name suggests, when you're given a point and a slope, you can't write it in slope-intercept form because you need an intercept. But here you have a point and a slope, so you're going to use the slope to write the equation and the point that they give you to write the equation. It's still a line. It's just written in a different format. Let's practice writing a linear equation using point-slope format. The slope that they give us is negative 2 thirds. The point that they give us is 6 comma negative 7. As you recall, the slope is m. And the point that they give you is x comma y. Well, since this is the point, this is not the x variable, but this is the x coordinate of the point. This is the y coordinate of the point. So basically, I use this format. I plug in the m, which is the slope, into here. I use the x coordinate of the point, xp, into here. And then the y coordinate of the point into here. This y is the y variables. It's not a number. This x is an x variable, not a number. Whereas the yp and the xp are numbers. So let's put it together. So y variable minus the y coordinate, which is negative 7. While the point has its own negative, look at that, we have double negatives. The slope is negative 2 thirds. That's m, parentheses, the x variable, minus the x coordinate of the point, which is plane 6. Okay. The only thing we need to clean up, we can't leave two negatives like this. Two negatives turn into a positive. So y plus 7 equals negative 2 thirds parentheses x minus 6. And that's a linear equation written in point slope format. Let's learn how to write a really linear equation, but this time, instead of being given a slope, we're given two different points. We could use either point to plug it in for yp and xp. It doesn't matter. We'll still get the same answer. But first, what we need to do is figure out the slope because we don't have that. Since we have two points, we can figure out the slope. This time, I'm going to use the slope formula, which is y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. So here are the y coordinates that we start. Here it is. The y coordinates are negative 7 and negative 4. So it's going to be negative 7. The formula is to do minus. But the 4 has its own negative. Then I go x, which is 3, minus 0. Double negative turns into a positive. Since the 7 is negative and the 4 is positive, these are different signs. That means I'm going to minus the number. 7 minus 4 is 3. And I keep the sign of the bigger number, which is a 7. So it's negative. All over, 3 minus 0 is 3. This simplifies to negative 1. So my slope m is negative 1. All right. I'm going to choose to use this point to plug into my equation. This is the x point, and the 4 is the y point. So it's y minus, the 4 has its own minus, equals the slope m is negative 1, the x variable, the x point is 0. Now I'm going to clean up the double negatives. Minus minus 4 is really plus 4. X minus 0 is just plain X. Just like 5 minus 0 is just 5. 2 negative minus 0 is 2. A million minus 0 is a million. So any number minus 0 is just that number. So no need to write X minus 0. I'm just going to write X. And that's the equation of a linear. Here we're given different information. but We're being asked to write a linear equation again using point slope. This time we're given a graph. Well, the graph we can count rise over run to figure out the slope m. Then we can pick either point to plug into our equation for yp and xp. So just for fun, I'm going to use 
um, the point one comma six. I'm going to count rise over run to figure out the slope. So first of all, I just take, I just visualize the slope. This is a decreasing slope, so I know my slope number is going to be negative. So right off the bat, I'm going to put m equals a negative number. Now I'm going to count rise and run. So from the lower point, if I rise up, it's one, two, three, four. So I went four up, and I went one, two, left. So it's four over two. Negative four over two. Actually, negative four over two simplifies to so just plain negative two. So there's my slope. All right, I'm going to plug into my equation. Y minus the point y is actually 6. My slope is negative 2. Then comes the x variable minus the point y, the point x I mean, which is 1. And I'm done. Now here we're given two points, but it's kind of disguised because it's written in a different format. It's written in function notation. All right, so we just need to be able to decipher this. We write this in two ordered pairs. We'll be able to get two points and write the equation easily. What this says is when the x variable is 5, the y variable is negative 5. So right off the bat, I have a point 5, comma, negative 5. Here it says when the x variable is 1, the y variable is 3. So I have another ordered pair, 1, comma, 3. All right, so now I could use either of these points to plug it in to yp and xp. I'm going to use the nicer one. The one is all positive. So I know I'm going to use 1 and 3. To find the slope, I'm going to use slope formula, which is y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. Okay, so the y coordinates are these right here. So it's basically minus 5, minus 3, all over the x-coordinates, 5, minus 1. These two numbers have the same sign, so I'm going to add them and keep their signs. This will become negative 8. 5 minus 1 is just 4. Negative 8 over 4 is negative 2. That's my slope m. So now I'm ready to plug it into my equation, the y variable minus the y coordinate of the point. And we talked earlier that we're going to choose the easier point with no negative, which is 3, equals the slope, which is negative 2, the x variable minus the y coordinate, which is 1. And I'm done. This time, we're asked to write a linear equation again using point-slope format, but the information is given to us in a table. So we actually have five coordinate points that we can choose to plug in for y, p, and x, p. And we just look at the rate of change for x and y to figure out the slope. If you look at x, it's actually going down by 1 each time, which is minus 1. The y is actually going up by 2, which is plus 2. So the slope is change in y, which is 2, all over change in x, which is negative 1. We have a positive number divided by a negative number, so the whole answer will be negative. 2 over 1, same thing as 2. That's your slope m. I'm going to use a point to write the equation. I'll just use the first point. So let's start. y variable minus the y coordinate of the point, which is 7, equals the slope is negative 2, parentheses, x variable, minus the x coordinate of the point, which is 4. And that's it. 